It's time to turn your life challenging moments into life changing messages. Welcome to the Power Lift Stories Podcast, where we are interviewing women whose stories will leave you lifted up, fired up, and fueled up with hope, courage, and inspiration. We want to thank our sponsor, Powerful Journey, who helps women tell their stories, write their books, and building a profitable brand around both. Join the Masterclass or the Speakers Academy at phyllisjenkins.com. That is P-H-Y-L-L-I-S-J-E-N-K-I-N-S dot com. Now here's your host, Phyllis Jenkins. Hello and welcome to episode number 134. We are super excited to be back today. And I have the pleasure of interviewing not one, not two, but three of our newest authors. And you will get to hear more from them in just a moment. But let me just say that these authors have gone through our writer's journey which we are actually live right now in front of our authors uh, with our writer's journey community. They have also graduated or are graduating, I should say, from the Authors Academy, and they will be taking their messages to the stage on April 20th at our Powerful Journey Women's Conference. I hope that you've got your ticket. If you haven't, you have until April 1st to get your in-person ticket. And then the following week, you can still get your virtual ticket. So make sure you go to phyllisjenkins.com and get your ticket. All right, let's move into our interviews for tonight. We have Angel Gaddis, we have Angela Hayes, and we have Judith Jolive, better known as Red. So what I'm going to do is introduce them by reading their bios, and then you'll get to meet each of these new authors. Angel Gaddis, who is our youngest author here, I call her our, our baby author. <laughs> Angel is a God-fearing woman and a mother of two beautiful daughters. She has been in the healthcare industry for 10 years. The most rewarding part is being able to make a difference in the world. Her dream is to become a motivational speaker, and um, Angel, you are certainly on your way to doing that. Her dream is to become uh, a motivational speaker, and she has, has the passion for helping others. Through her life lessons, she hopes to be able to create an outlet for those who have lost hope. What a great mission. We welcome Angel Gaddis. Then we have Angela Hayes. Angela is a passionate follower of Christ, a faith walker, a purpose-driven, determined, and resilient are some of her attributes. She's the business owner of Unique Foundations Enterprises, LLC, a serial entrepreneur, notary business, mentor, author, minister, and a speaker. And if you were at our conference last year, you heard Angela take her story to the stage. Well, she is writing book number two, and she is back. Angela is also the founder of Unique for a Purpose Group, and she is the host of the Angela Hayes podcast, Life with No Limits. Super excited for that. And last but certainly not least, our newest author, Judith Jolive, better known as Red. Red is a thriving businesswoman, entrepreneur, and now a published author residing in Dallas, Texas. She has 35 plus years of experience in the banking and finance industry, and she has since retired. She is a proud mother of two extraordinary women, three grandchildren, two great grandkids, and two furry babies, fur babies. 
She is living her best life with God's blessings on her and her family. Authors, welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's start with Angel Gaddis. Angel, if you would please share the title of your book and the why for writing your book. The title of my book is The Innocence of a Guilty Victim. The why behind my writing is growing up, I thought I was an accident. I felt like, what was my purpose for being here? Why am I here? And reasons for that is because I didn't get love from my mom because that was something she didn't receive growing up. And my father chose his addiction over me. So going through life, I wanted to fill the void of being heard and feeling the pain. So I seeked any and everything to numb it. Sex, alcohol, drugs, men, money, partying, only to still feel empty inside. But I knew I had a gift because I would always attract the same type of people that were broken just like me. I was just able to give them sound advice, but couldn't take my own. Um, so through life, I built a personal relationship with God. I was tired of living the same way, tired of feeling the same way. And I knew I had purpose, but in order for me to fulfill that purpose, I knew I needed a connection with God. So I built a personal relationship with him and it was the best thing I could have ever done. And now I am able to walk in my purpose. I have a gift that I want to share with the world. And I want to be there for those who feel like there's no hope left for them. I love how you turn your pain into purpose and you are reaching out now to help others and especially the young uh, among us. I'm just, we're, we're so yes, proud Lord. of you. So proud Thank of you. you. Well, don't you go anywhere. We're going to move right on over right now to Angela Hayes. And Angela, I am going to ask you the same question. If you would please share your book title and the why behind writing your book. Yes. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm going to raise my book. I have my, the, my flags on it because, of course, it's my proof. Uh, it's called More Than Meets the Eye. Um made in his image. And so uh, my wife for writing my book and I just kind of want to jot down my notes so I can just make sure I uh, hit the points here. I wanted young ladies and women to journey with themselves to discover their self-worth, their value and their intrinsic beauty while using their powerful voice, their very own voice to transform their life and to give them practical strategies and a workable tool that they could use in their everyday life uh, to go through that process with themselves. So that's my why. Love that. And we will hear more about your book and your uh, takeaways in just a moment. But now I want to move over to Judith Red, Jolive. Judith, if you too would please share the title of your book and the why behind writing your story. Okay, the title of my book is I Won't Do It Anymore. And the reason I wrote my book was to help young women, young girls to love themselves, believe in themselves, trust in themselves, and not to always seek approval from others. Because when you do that, mm -hmm. you find yourself in prison. I grew up as a young girl in my with six siblings in my household, and I was not accepted by my siblings. So living in that household and be, being the lighter skin and and names were called, and my siblings did not take to me at all. So doing that, my pain came from my grandmother taught me how to love and trust others and treat others with kindness and respect. And so I felt that in order for me to have love, 
I had to buy it. Mm. And, to, mm. and to buy love from others is a sacrifice that is too high because you continue to find yourself trying to get people to accept you and because you show the love and the kindness and a compassionate heart, they take advantage of that and use it as your weakness. And I lived that past for 68 years of my lifetime. And I had to come to a conclusion that it is not me. I have to continue to love because that is what God's purpose for us to do on this earth. But I have to be able to cut off those who are taking my kindness for weakness and trying to make me feel that I am not important. So being with, with that being said, my book comes from a lot of pain within and I blame no one. I only blame myself because I kept believing that the only reason why people would be in my life and wanted to be around me and accept me is I had to purchase something or give them something. That was my, that was my upbringings from being around my family, my sisters and all of them who, that was how I got them to like me and accept me. So I brought that on into my adult life. So I'm hoping that I reach that person that is still living that life for 68 years. Judith, thank you so much for stepping forward and courageously sharing your story. And I know that when you stand on April 20th on that stage and share your story, that it is going to go out into that audience and touch, if not one, more than one, who feels the exact same way. Um, so thank you again. So ladies, what I want to do now is to go back and start with Angel Gaddis. Each of you have stood on stage at the Powerful Journey Women's Conference. You stood, you shared, you got a standing ovation, and now the conference has ended. People have purchased your books, and they've walked away to go back to their vehicles, and you are packing up to get ready to go to yours. I want each of you to please share three lessons learned that you hope every person walked away with after they heard your message or after they read your book. So Angel Gaddis, if you would please give us three key points, three lessons that you hope everyone walked away with. Yes, my first one would be that you are not an accident. You are here on purpose. God made you with purpose and you are here because he wants you to be. Two, you have a gift. All of us have a gift inside of us. And the power that you have is that no one is like you. And that gift will make room for you and that the world needs you. Three, build a personal relationship with God. It's very important. He's with you through it all. The good, the bad, the ups and downs. He, he will never leave you nor forsake you. Um, and that would be it. I love it. Those are three powerful takeaways. You're not an accident. You have a gift and she is inviting you to accept Jesus Christ and build a personal relationship with him. Angel, thank you so much. Let's move over to Angela Hayes. Angela, you too have stood on stage. You've shared your story. What three takeaways you hope that everyone walks away with? Absolutely. Uh, one of those is, um, is understanding that you are worth the work. You are worth the work. 
it's very important that you take the time to invest in yourself, in self-development. And so in my book, I have provided a free assessment, a personality assessment. So um, as you journey with yourself, uh, you'll realize that uh, it's something just different about you, but understanding yourself is going to help you navigate uh, through life. So invest in yourself and do the work because you are certainly worth it. Number two, it is your unique difference that sets you apart. Uh, there's a quote that I've written in my book. You are a masterpiece. Dare to be different. Many times we try to fit in, try to be like everybody else, but it is your differences that set you apart like no one else. God has fashioned us in such a unique way to the point that we are not duplicatable. So we cannot be duplicated. Not one lady on this line can be duplicated because God has given you such, un such a unique personality, special gifts and talents that are going to be used for his glory. And that is those gifts and talents are to be used in the earth realm. Number three, the importance of positive self-talk and speaking words of life to yourself and over yourself. Uh, there's power in your tongue. And it says that in Proverbs 18 and 21, that death and life is in the power of your own tongue and you will eat the fruit of it. So what you say to yourself and about yourself has the power to change the course of your life. Wonderful takeaways. Love it. You are worth the work, meaning you need to self-invest, uh, investment, invest in yourself. Uh, you are worth the work. Number two, it is you are unique. Your unique difference sets you apart. And as Angela just said, none of us, none of us have the same <laughs> fingerprints. And so we are all unique. God made us that way. And third, the importance of positive self-talk. Oh my goodness. We all know how important it is to say those things that we want to see in yes. life. And so Angela, thank you for sharing those. And let's go over to Judith. Judith, what are three lessons that you hope everyone walk away with are three takeaways? Yes, ma'am. The first, it's important to listen to your divine spirit and never force anyone to choose you. You choose you. The second, follow your dream and know a new horizon awaits you. And your first step on this new path of your life's journey starts with you right now. Thirdly, love you, trust your instincts and stop looking to others for love and approval. Once you understand how to put yourself first, you will have that peace and that love that, that you so seek and divine look for. So the most important thing to me that I had to learn is I need to know how to love me first. And then I, I will find the peace that I look for, been looking for throughout my 68 years of my life. Judith, thank you. Mm -hmm. Love those lessons. It is so important for us as you'd have said, to listen to our divine spirit and then to follow your dreams. Follow the dreams that God gave you and don't ask permission from anyone else. If God gave you that dream, he gave it to you and he will provide and supply what's needed for you to fulfill those dreams and then love you, trust in you, stop looking for others for approval. Oh my goodness, how great are these lessons. So what I'm going to do now is ask each of these ladies to let you know how that you can how you can purchase their books and how you can connect with them and as right before they're coming to do that 
they have turned their life challenges into life-changing messages. We all have life challenges. We've all been through something. And so these women have decided that they are going to stand up, step forward and tell their stories so that others will be blessed and, and move to action because of their stories. So Angel Gaddis, how can they get your book? How can they connect with you? Yes, um, I am on Facebook at Author Angel Gaddis. I am also on um, Instagram, and that's underscore Angel Gaddis underscore. And I also have an email. It's broken2024 at gmail.com. And my book is also on Amazon. Very good, Angel. And <laughs> let me just say that we'll have all of this information in the show notes for you to uh, be able to connect with them. Angel, um, Angela Hayes, how can they get your book and how can they connect with you? Uh, well, my book is soon to be on Amazon. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, you can connect with me on Facebook on my personal page at Angelia Hayes. Or on my business page and my business page at Unique Foundations Enterprise. I'm also on Instagram, Angela Hayes, and LinkedIn. Uh, you can connect with me on LinkedIn. And my email address is uniquelyyours28 at yahoo.com. Love that. Thank you. Judith, how can they get your book and how can they connect with you? Yes, I am already live on Amazon, and you can search by my name, Judith Jolove, or my book title, I Won't Do It Anymore. My website is redjprinting.com. My email is redjpublisher at gmail.com. You can reach me on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash judith.jolive. And I'm on Instagram at judred6868. Thank you, Judith. And again, you'll be able to get all of that information in the show notes below and we want to invite you once again to come to the April 20th Powerful Journey Women's Conference. You will hear these authors along with nine others who will be telling their stories and launching their book sales. Uh, it's going to be a great, great experience. You don't want to miss it. If you can't come in person, you can register to attend virtually. I also want to invite you to join the Writer's Journey community. It is a wonderful uh, place for you to come and write with other writers and let us cheer you on, encourage you, get, give you the tools, the resources that you need to get your book completed. We uh, have a 14-day trial, free trial right now, where you can come sit in, explore, and see if this is the right community for you. Well, thank you again for being with us today. We look forward to seeing you back here next week. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you for joining us today. If you are interested in being on the show, go to phyllisjenkins.com. You can also sign up for the Powerful Journey Masterclass or the Speakers Academy at phyllisjenkins.com.